the day that I'm going to get to go out on track with the Porsche. So uh, Chris Cabetto, who actually drove for Saline and literally won national championships, uh, is going to come out with me and give me some instructions. Uh, he has these little like Bluetooth things so we can talk to each other in the helmets, but I don't think you guys are going to be able to hear him. Um, either way, I'm just going to take it easy and uh, have fun because this is a crazy track with all the blind corners. And even though I went on a ride along with his son, who's a phenomenal driver, um, I uh, his. I mean, and he'd like shredded an E30 on the slicks, like he'd probably destroy me, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna have fun. video will do that one justice but uh that was definitely terrifying there's so many blind corners on this track and so many places where you know i we were in an hpd3 group and there are a lot of really fast drivers and i'd see someone in my rear view and i kind of get distracted and i fall offline and there's like an area i late braked a little bit but um between driving a little bit within my limits and the porsche electronics kind of saving me a couple times um i kept it on the track but uh, definitely i, I kind of want to look into getting something a little bit lower powered for really really learning proper um, input and proper driving technique because this this car is just so good that it covers up a lot of mistakes that I'm making um, but it's a lot of fun especially man there's probably like 40 cars on 
track at once. It's sick. As you guys saw, I started getting the hang of the S13 over at VIR, and it was definitely like the bare minimum power I could have with how gripped up the car was. I realized in retrospect that I didn't have a rear sway bar hooked up, because um, I had prior been running that car in 235s, and it was super, super loose. Uh, so I unhooked the rear sway bar from our grip, and it was making it really hard going down that hill in fourth gear, almost like straight line drifting. So that's why I'd flick it super hard. Um, it felt sick, but it would bind a little bit there, um, but I was able to drive around it and I think that, that was some really good testing and probably the most seat time I've had in that car just messing around uh, in a long time. So it'll be interesting to see how it fares for tandem. I am kind of making some changes with the brakes before Texas just to make the car a little bit more drivable. Uh, but I did want to apologize, like VIR and Hyperfest was so crazy and it was running around trying to get so much seat time in in so many different cars that I definitely slacked a little bit with the vlogging. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the raw footage and then tomorrow we're uh, going to be back in Connecticut working on the Evo. So um, hope you guys have been stoked on the content and there's definitely a lot of cool videos coming up and I'm excited to share them with you. So thank you and bye. Say